Are you planning on relaxing waterside this summer? If so, we have a really fun boat that's sure to make a splash while looking great doing it. Today we're going to talk about this Miss Geico 17 inch ready to run brushed catamaran from Probo. The Miss Geico 17 inch catamaran from Probo is a ready to run model that comes pre-assembled out of the box, including all of the necessary items minus four AA batteries for the included transmitter. Although the model does come ready to run, there is some very minor assembly that needs to be done out of the box. For one, the antenna straw just needs to be installed, put the antenna in the straw, and then the straw goes through the rubber grommet. And then the second thing, because this model secures the battery into the model with Velcro, you'll have to take the adhesive backed Velcro strip that is attached into the model and stick it onto the included battery. Now here's a tip, don't stick the adhesive part on the label of the battery because when you go to remove the battery, the Velcro will rip that label right off. Speaking of the battery, this is it. This is the included pack with the Miss Geico. It is a dynamite 13, excuse me, a 1200 milliamp six cell NIM pack with 7.2 volts and an EC3 connector on the end. This model is not compatible with LiPos. With this NIM pack, run times were about 10 minutes, we're over 10 minutes. Although admittingly, we didn't drive the model nonstop the whole time we drove and stopped and tried things. I drove, then somebody else drove and we took turns. But if you add it all up, run times were about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how hard you drive the boat. Now for extended times to go beyond that 10, 15 minute range, a second battery is gonna be highly recommended. This battery pack is a very unique size and shape, so it's recommended to get the same factory battery pack. Another thing to note about the included battery charger, it works just fine, but it charges at a very slow rate. To fully charge this NIM pack, it requires 12 hours. To get around those really long charge rates, we ended up using this EcoPower NIM specific charger. It's the NI82AC, and it comes with a T-style plug, but Fuse makes this really cool T-style to EC3 adapter. It's a one-piece unit, it plugs right on, and it worked great. Once the batteries are charged and finally installed, Miss Geico is ready to rip and rip she does. Now for top speeds, there won't be any new speed records with the brushed electronics and this NIM battery pack, but the speeds are fast enough to put a smile on your face. Performance on the water is superb with the Miss Geico. Cornering speed is super high. Uh, if you want to turn left or right or whatever, it just cuts through the water so easily and turns on a dime. You don't even need to let off the throttle. You can just keep it pinned the whole time making those cuts. You could let off the throttle if you wanted to, or better yet, you can use the throttle limiter built into this Spectrum STX2. This transmitter has a really cool feature on it where it has a three position switch called throttle limits that provides a 100%, a 75%, or a 50% throttle limit. So if you want full speed and maximum performance, you're driving, leave it on 100% and go have fun. But if you have a friend, uh, maybe there's a child or someone who is just learning RC, Put that throttle limiter into 50% and then let them have at it. And the battery will last a lot longer on 50%. For us, we drove the model at 100% the entire time. We have no complaints. We did okay. try 75 and 50 just to try it and see how fast Miss Geico would go. But overall, we have no complaints. 100% worked really well.
just hit our rudder on this shallow rock here in the water, but fortunately it flexes up in the event of some impact, so we're just gonna put it back down. very dry. We did have one minor issue with the Miss Geico, but it was really my fault for not recognizing there was an issue to begin with. So inside here of the Miss Geico, our 380 brushed motor is water cooled. You can see that there's some little bit of tubing here um, that goes over to the outside. This is the outlet but basically our outlet tube went back inside the hole and was letting in water and you could hear the system kind of gurgle a little bit. So after we recognized that issue, we were able to put the piping back through the exterior to let that water out outside. Now, if there is any water inside, you can easily get it out. Here on the back, there's this little rubber plug. You can just pull it out really easily and it should let out water. There shouldn't be any water in the model now, but we did drive it earlier today, so it's possible. There's, I don't see any. But if in the event that that tube does fall out of here, it's actually really easy to get it back in. Don't try to feed it from the inside. Instead, disconnect it right here from the metal coil and then just pull it straight out. And from here, feed it back from the outside in and it feeds especially easy. You can just keep feeding that tubing up until it's about the right length for that metal coil. And then I'm just gonna put it on the metal coil. And there we go, it's back on and we're poking back outside. Really easy fix, but it's important to keep an eye on that. But other than this tubing issue and our failure to recognize it right away, the Miss Geico was awesome. It gave us no troubles. It performed as expected. You could just throw it in the water, relax, and have fun. It was smooth sailing, so to speak. My only recommendation, a second battery. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you have any questions or comments on the Miss Geico catamaran or any other RC related stuff, please leave us a question down below. And we have some links down there if you would like more information. I'm Brett with A Main Hobbies. Thanks for watching.